everybody. This is Anne. Today is Tuesday, uh, July 25th, 2017. I hope everybody is doing great. I thought I would check in with a quick update before the end of the month got here because it's rapidly approaching uh, and talk to you guys a little bit about what I've been working on. So a uh, quick life update. My husband is on his business trip. Uh, we are still in the throes of having some outdoor work done uh, on our front. Out this way is our driveway, um, and we're having some work done on that uh, retaining wall that's right next to the garage, between the garage and the driveway. Um, it's kind of a, the typical contractor thing where they came and they dug holes in our front yard and then they disappeared for four days, so not sure when they'll be back but I'm hoping that they will be putting the front yard back in order. Um, I tend to get a little second grade school teacher about things like this because I figure if you're gonna come and do the, the work, just come and do it, you know? I, I understand sometimes it's not like a full day job and they've gotta wait for things like, we had to have some stuff restuccoed and that's gotta dry, but yeah, nine days, just saying. It's like a two day project. <clears throat> Anyhow, my husband's so happy when he leaves and he leaves me to wrestle people into the trenches. It's not his favorite thing. It's not mine either. But um, anyway, moving on. Uh, so he was going to be back late, late, late Thursday and home Friday. And then he's home actually for a whole week, which will be nice. Uh, I will be glad to have him home. So stitching, I have been working on Village of Hawk Run Hollow for the six day rotation in the Ivory Needle Challenge. Uh, I have been working on this block right here, which is the boarding house. Uh, I haven't gotten far enough to customize the sign, but I am going to do that when I get there. So let me show you what I have been working on for those six days. Here is the piece currently. So you can see blocks one, two, three are all done. And there is block four. So I actually felt like I made some decent progress on this. I got the grass uh, lawn completely done. I got the front facade mostly done. The roof is in. Chimneys are done. And then the fall leaves on the tree. So obviously I still have to finish the building itself and then the sign goes here and there's a picket fence with, with what I thought were goats, but they're dogs. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know, they looked a little billy goat gruff to me, but the text assures me I am backstitching the dogs' tongues, not goats. There you go. So that's where I am on this. Uh, that will be going away until August since I am done this month's or yeah, this month's six day rotation on that. I also have snuck in a little bit of time on Stargaze or Star Weaver. Excuse me, Star Weaver. Um, and there is still just a lot of blue. There's going to be just a lot of blue. I think I keep saying that, but I can, that's not really helping anything. Hopefully show you guys. So I've gotten the peak of the hat done and then this started this swirl of magic sparkly bits. So this is the bottom of page two right here. And so I will have an extra day this month since uh, there's 31 days in July. So I will be working on this on the 31st to finish the month out. That'll be a um, focus piece on that day. I'm just, you know, trying to stay getting some time in on this uh, as I go because I don't want to just work on it one week a month. I want to I want to be a little more focused than that. So my hope is to have page two finished by August. 
and that'll just leave me with page three and a little bit. Um, so a note quickly about the full coverage Facebook group Stitch Along for 2018. Thank you all so much for those of you who indicated your interest. I am, have been busy this past week setting up uh, challenges, the monthly and the quarterly challenges, trying to find some inspirational images and things like that to keep you guys motivated. So again, that'll open uh, October 1st and more details to come. The other thing that I did this week, uh, I think I had mentioned two or three videos ago that once Stitch from Stash was over, I was going to order myself a big piece of the 25 count magic guide, which I really love. And so I did that. Um, Charting Creations carries it by the yard. So I went ahead and got a full yard of it. And then um, Sunday, I think it was, I went through and I picked um, the projects that I know that I want to start for 2018. So that's the Six of Swords project, the Quick Stitch Ships and Shells cross stitch um, from both of those are heaven and earth designs um, I had the fabric already for gypsy firefly and then I wanted to restart uh, the mini winter's encounter oh and mini which way I haven't shown you guys that I'll have to pull it for next my next video but at any rate those were all the things that I want to start in 2018 so I cut the fabric and surged edges and have those kind of all ready to go sort of kitted up and then I even had some leftovers so I have enough for two other projects as long as they're not Amy Stewart sized projects um two other projects out of that yard so I thought that was pretty good that I was able to get so many um that would have been granted one of them the quick this quick stitch is fairly small I think it's like five by ten or five by eight and a half, something like that. So it was a pretty small piece of fabric, but I got that a fairly decent sized one in the Six of Swords and two minis. Is that right? Yeah, so I got four projects and I have um, probably enough for two more um, on the smaller side projects out of that yard. So I felt like that was a pretty, I mean, that wound up being much, much less expensive than if I had bought the custom cut pieces of it. So that was a good thing. And then I started yesterday, I, no, today, this morning, I don't even know what day it is anymore. This is what happens when my husband goes away. Every day is the same for me because I work out of the house. So I get up at the same time. I basically do the same things. Doesn't matter. Anyway. Started my Chatelaine. This is the Desert Mandala Chatelaine. And I did start in the center. I am working this on a 28 count Lugana in the colorway Calypso from Picture This Plus. There's my threads. Here's where I am. So that is the beginning of the center. It's got the lightning bolts headed out. Doesn't look like a whole lot of much, but um, hopefully I will have some updates to show you that my plan is to work on this for the next six days, uh, which takes me through to the 30th of the month. This is my last new start unless I finish something up for the ivory needle challenge for uh, this year. So that's my next six days, which I am really excited about working on. I've been, um, I got up a little early this morning so I could put a couple hours in on that before I started work. And it was nice to be able to just sit and enjoy a quiet morning, cup of tea. It was a little cool and rainy feeling because we had some rain overnight. And um, I can tell I am thoroughly enjoying that and it's gonna be very hard to put down at the end of its time, but it will come out every month for another six days worth of work. Uh, oh, and so like I said, I will be uploading a separate video that will have kind of more in depth about working on it for those six days. Um, 
as well as kind of an intro video that talks about the materials um, and how I kitted this one up. So look for that to be uploaded sometime after this one. I'm not sure when that will be, but sometime. And then I have a couple things that I wanted to share that I got from Angela over at Coloring Cotton. This is the July uh, Fabric of the Month Club that I got. I picked the Any Color, so it's a little more random what you get, which is great because I love surprises like that. So this is on 32 Count Jobelin. It is a gorgeous kind of blue purple. You can see it's got a sort of cornflower blue and then lilac undertones to it. Really pretty. And then as a separate order, um, just because I loved it so much, I picked up three skeins of King's Blue from the July um, Floss of the Month Club. I, this was one of the colors from July. And I went ahead and ordered more to use for something like my Long Dog Sampler's Death by Cross Stitch, you know, for when I get back to that sometime in the next millennium. But if not, I have lots of other things I think I could do with these colors. I'm kind of um, jonesing to figure out if there's maybe an ink circles that I want to do with these. So I think that was it. Um, yeah, I think that was it. Pretty short and sweet today, not a ton to talk about. Um, I'm sort of saving my recording time to do a little bit more information on the Chatelaine. So I'll have that video uploaded once um, at the end of the six days that I'm working on that. Um, I may add to this one, I may not, we'll see. I have a couple of birthday things coming that should be here, might be here on my birthday, but um, at the latest, the weekend. So I might do a quick update and tag that onto the end of this video. So uh, either way, until I talk to you guys next, uh, have a great Stitchy Week and I will talk to you soon. Take care. Hi everybody, it's Anne. Today is Thursday, July 27th, 2017. I hope everybody is doing great today. Um, today is my birthday and I thought I would come and share a little bit of time with you guys. Um, this will be my last video of the month, uh, other than my Chatelaine focus videos, so look for that separately. Um, I'm going to do that, those as standalone videos. Um, but uh, let's do a quick life update. So my husband's been on travel. He gets home very late tonight. I actually won't see him until tomorrow because we're two hours from our airport. And when he gets in at 11.30 at night, I think, I don't want you in the car for two hours on fairly deserted highway roads in the dark. No. So he did just text me and let me know that he is on his way to do the first leg of his flight. They just boarded. And he'll get to Atlanta tonight and then he'll make the jump into Albuquerque. So... Uh, I've had a very quiet birthday day this year so far. I opted to take off half a day from work, so I worked early this morning, got all that done. Um, I went for a run with uh, the younger dog. She loves to go, so we went and we did that this morning, got that off my plate. Um, I replanted my flower beds, which had been torn up when we had our retaining wall fixed. So did that while I was like all nasty and hot and sweaty. And then I talked to my folks. They're two hours ahead of us on the East Coast, so checked in with them. Um, they're nutty, but they're good. Um, just thank them for their gift. My, they always send me Amazon um, gift cards, which are totally appropriate. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. You can kind of see the light is weirdly changing. We've got some major clouds rolling in. We had a power outage yesterday from, I think, the torrential rains. I think had affected the substation near us. Um, there are parts of buildings up in town that got flooded. So I'm hoping it doesn't do that today because our power was off for like four and a half hours. Um, and I would like a cool glass of wine to celebrate my birthday tonight. But if we had an afternoon rainstorm, that would be kind of a nice gift. I would, I would take that. Um, so after all that stuff this morning, I went out, I got a haircut for the first time in six months. 
I know the stylist is always like, really, really? Gee, your bangs are uneven. Gee, that's because I cut them myself in front of the mirror with a pair of shears. Uh, anyway, so I figured, you know what? This is like one of the few times my hair will look done. So we're going to take advantage of it and <laughs> do a video. Um, I'm kind of low maintenance gal. So yeah, it doesn't happen very often that I like curl my hair. Anyway, went to Starbucks, got myself my freebie drink uh, for my birthday, used my little coupon they sent me, which is, you know, it's nice. It's not going to shut Starbucks down to hand out <clears throat> a free drink. Um, yes, they spelled my name without an E. It's a chronic issue, but anyway, uh, I thought I would treat myself to the chai tea that they have that I like. I can't drink coffee, so this is just as good, I think. Um, I don't need the caffeine, certainly. Um, fine without it. Anyway, that's what I've done so far on my birthday, and now this afternoon that I'm home, um, I know it's unromantic, but I have a couple of loads of towels and stuff in the dryer right now, but I'm going to sit now and stitch until dinner time or dog dinner time, which is about 4.30 in our house. So, good stuff. All right, quick recap. Um, there will not be a ton of stitchy stuff necessarily in this video. I just want to get you guys caught up. This is where I got to on block four of Village of Hawk Run Hollow. This is the boarding house, and there's a sign over here that I have to finish. I don't think I showed you this yet. If Again, if you've seen it, pretend you haven't and enjoy. Um, I think it wasn't, I think I didn't have the leaves done last time I recorded. So I still have the personalization to do and yeah, so that'll come out again in August. And probably what I should do, you know, if I was smart and thought about stuff, I could watch the previous clip before I record this clip so I'm not repeating myself. <clears throat> Maybe next time, something to strive for. Uh, let's see. On to the Chatelaine. So I started this on the 25th. Today's the 27th, so a couple days of work on it. Just in case you forgot what it looked like, it's the Desert Mandala from Chatelaine. And I have gotten started on that. I have really been enjoying this project. I... You know, you never know what to expect when you start something new. And yes, I'm going to, I will say for sure, these are in-depth projects. This is not like, oh, I'm going to just, you know, it's a quick little mini I'm going to bang out. In-depth project, you know, stay with me. It's going to be a long haul. So here is where I am. That is the very center. I decided to start in the center. And I've gotten the lightning bolt started, which is right here. And I'm working on this section. What I opted to do for this, um, because I wanted to, I wanted to blow the chart up enough that I could really see what was going on with it. Um, I actually broke this section that's in this sort of round section, not counting the cacti out here, but in here, um, I broke it into quarters. I broke the chart into quarters and then um, I printed it out on as hard copy because I was having trouble with Goodreader. Goodreader doesn't recognize the symbols that Martina uses um, for the patterns, so you can't highlight anything, which does me no good because I have to keep track of stuff. I can't like wing it, there's too much going on. So this is where I am. This little, the sparkly bits are a silver Krynak. I started the sort of dead tree that the hawk is sitting in and that's in a black Krynak. I did make one modification. I did not purchase the rayon black thread that's called for in this project. It, you work the black with both DMC and this rayon thread. And I had heard horror stories about the rayon thread being really knotty and kind of futzy and hard to work with. And I thought, you know what? 
I, I can live without that. So what I've done is I worked the parts in black, 310, basic black. The parts that were supposed to be worked in rayon, which is this little bit right here, uh, I'm actually working in 3799, I think it is. It's that barely black, just a shade off of black uh, DMC color. Because I figured the rayon was going to have some sheen to it, and so there was going to be a slight difference in terms of light reflection between the DMC cotton and the rayon. And I thought, well, if I use a slightly lighter color than the true black and the 310, it would kind of achieve the same effect. And I think I think it's pretty successful. You can see there's like just a little bit of shading right around the lightning strike itself, but very subtle. So I am going to be working on this through the 30th. Um, just kind of chipping away at it. I'm going to see how much of that centerpiece I can get done. And I may sort of drift this first chart, like I said, contains the center part and these little flowers, but not the cacti. So I may drift this way and work one of the flowers just to see what it looks like because they're in some of the Gloriana silks and the, um, I think maybe Dinky Dye, one of the colors is in that. I won't be doing the beading until the very end, but I thought, well, I could at least see what the silks look like um, in with the, all of those colors that I'm working on. So. That, that will probably take, I, I don't, I know for sure I will not get that center motif finished on this rotation, but it'll be back in August and I'll have it to enjoy then. So all good. Um, and last, I wanted to just share uh, like a little brief thing with you guys, sort of personal, but also reading. Um, so I have to say that in the past, years as an adult, not as a kid, but as an adult, after I've gotten out of college, <clears throat> I have not ever been a big birthday celebration person. And I think part of the reason was when I was diagnosed with my autoimmune disease, I was in my early 20s. And at the time, and this is pre a lot of the drugs that exist now, so, you know, yay for medical science. At the time, I could not get life insurance, still can't, but my life expectancy was given to me as 44. And I think having that kind of weighing on you for many years, you think, I don't know, there wasn't a lot to celebrate, I, I guess, is subconsciously what I felt. But uh, I feel like now I've, I'm at a point where I can kind of laugh that off or it doesn't affect me as much and I'm really trying very hard to look at it just as a day of celebration because whether you have one more birthday or a hundred more birthdays it's still a birthday and it should be a positive thing that you're not sort of counting down <clears throat> and without telling you how old I am I will say that I have passed the year 44 mark so I'm all in gravy at this point is where I'm going with this. And so I decided that, you know, I mean, I don't, I don't need a lot of things. It's not like when you're seven and you got to have the Lego set or your, you know, your life is over or the perfect party or whatever. Um, my husband, I think was more upset that he wasn't home for my birthday than I was. And you know, he's got to, got to go to work, right? That's fine. Um, <clears throat> I'm also not seven still. So, so I don't, it's not the same, I think, when you're a little kid and your dad were to miss your birthday. I think you feel that more than as an adult, you know, when you can celebrate the day at any point of your choosing or all month if you want to. So um, I just decided that I was going to try to do little things for myself today that I felt were positive, that I felt were celebratory, that were things I loved. And that's, to me, that's a great birthday. And one of those things is um, my dad is so great at picking books for me. Every time that I've had him send me a box of books, and he's like, I really think he would like this. I wind up loving them. And so I just wanted to share this book, which was my treat to myself uh, to, to read the second one in this series. My dad sent me all five books in the series, which I think, you know, awesome. Go dad. 
This particular book, Just One Damn Thing After Another, The Chronicles of St. Mary's, if you like anything about historical fiction, you, I would guess, would love these books. The heroine is fantastic. She is like, every, she, she's a shorter version of me, and I'm not even that big. Um, the author has a great tone. She writes very dry humor. The basic premise is, is that St. Mary's Institute of Historical Research is not time travel, but the historians there investigate major historical events in contemporary time. And so hijinks ensue, they are back and forth, they've got their training, it's sort of Harry Potter does time travel, does um, historical events through the ages, and everything that could possibly go wrong does. Um, the cast of characters is fun, uh, I cannot wait to open book number two, which is A Symphony of Echoes. So this is going to be my companion tonight with a glass of wine and some great fruit that I, I know fruit, but fruit, um, <laughs> fresh fruit that I got to go with dinner and I'm going to hang out with my, my girlfriends, my two dogs and a cat and enjoy my evening with my birthday girl hair, um, a glass of wine, and this awesome book um, sent to me by my dad, who knows me exceptionally well at this point in our lives together. So anyway, um, I wanna wish all of you a wonderful end of July. Um, look for my Chatelaine oriented videos shortly, and I will talk to you guys again in August. So until then, take care.